Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Gear City with me, Alpha Pi Omega and Hinoyume Car Company. So in the last episode we have went ahead and designed the Tetsuno Yuka chassis, we designed the Ojisan engine and we designed the Firudevaku gearbox. All three of these components are being used in our first vehicle, the 1947 Hinoyume Mamoto, the first generation that's gonna come to the market in 1948. The car is a bit subpar, but it has a really decent top speed of 63 miles per hour, and I kinda like the stats overall. The luxury is awful, but that's not important. The dependability and fuel efficiency are really good, and so is the handling. Those are the stats that really matter. So the specific overall rating is 49, which I believe should be quite enough for... Oh, this is gonna get annoying. Oh, okay, so <laughs> there's only one. I didn't know they didn't crop or, you know... Hmm. We're not looking at a globe, we're looking at a desk map. So in Tokyo we have... Uh, wait, did we do a compact or subcompact? I think we did a subcompact. There's only one, Heiho Keiron, which is more expensive than the car we're gonna sell, and it has way worse rating. So we need to unfortunately wait for this car for the next 15 months. So what I want to do in the meantime is fund my research teams a bit. So I'm gonna give them a thousand every month. And we're gonna see if that makes any difference. So we're getting 0 0.25 per quarter. And that does nothing. So 3,000. Okay, I would need to give them... Okay, I would need to give them $4,000 every month. We do have quite a lot of money, but that is very expensive. So let's not do that yet until we got a decent cash flow, even though that pains me. I wanted to start with the research immediately, but okay. So we have, wait, 14 months. I always forget 15 months, 15 months ahead of us. So let's just go and spend the 15 months in waiting. So we have 18 million right now. So let's see how much we get. Okay, we're slowly losing money, about 240,000 per month. You can see it in the bottom. Uh, we're getting a bit of interest on our cash, but not much. So hopefully this is gonna work well. Okay, so now it's April 1948. Uh, we still have almost 14 million in cash, which is great. And I think the car should be ready, yep. And we can use new technologies. Electric too. Okay. New body types are available. We can use new technologies. Air suspension system. Okay. I don't really know what that is. Uh, a Vanco engine. Oh, we can't use that one though. That kind of sucks. So the electric too should be an engine type. Yeah, it's the second fuel type. Okay. This one has way more power. That's good. So I was correct, we are going to get new things here. No valve, nothing here. And the air suspension, is that for the chassis? Yeah, that's the air suspension, okay. We already had that. Uh, very good for luxury sedan, but yeah. So our uh, Marmotto should be finished now, yep. Oh, Marmotto. Mamoto, I butchered that name, and we can start producing and selling them. So we need to open an office in Tokyo, and the office needs to be good. However, unfortunately, we can't really go ham here because, uh, yeah, okay, so let's see. Let's, oh, I can't, god damn it. Well, I can produce. Holy hell, I can produce 670 of these. Jesus Christ. Okay. I thought 
we would produce wells, but I guess the factor is scaled up as well. Okay, so that changes everything. Uh, so how much of the competition cars are being sold? Ah, God damn it, I forgot to check this again. Wait, will you vehicle it's a yeah it's a subcompact okay so i was correct in my assumption subcompact when we check the competition is selling there's roughly 60 of them well 60 70 sold in tokyo uh what about here that's a million city Okay, so there's about 11. And these are very small. So let's say it's about, if we have, let's say it's about 10 per mil. No, 10 per mil. Well, okay, 10 per million. So we got a possible city of, let's, let's take it from the bottom. This is very small and this is very small. This one is big, so let's say 20 cars here, uh, another 10 here, so it's 30, 40, 50, 100, and if we wanted to open offices in each all of these, that would be 110. But I'm going to say we're going to go with a 100 car in the first turn. I'm gonna see how that's gonna go. So they got 400 per capita. You can go to twice, oh no, five times the per capita uh, for the highest income. So let's say we sold 50 here. If I sold them, I would need to get at least 500 per car as a as earnings to pay for this kind of office. Hmm. There's actually a really rough math here. If I get about a thousand or eight hundred, that could work. Okay, let's go with thirty thousand here. That means we need to sell at least 40 cars here. The dealership. I don't know what the dealership resources are. Let's go with the sales resources. How much? Okay, let's start reasonable here. I'm going to lower the dealership resources and go with the sales resources. Okay, I kind of like this. So that's decent. You get 900,000. Go like this. You got a million, that's the same. You got a million, that's the same cost. You got two millions. And the rest is fairly small. Okay, so now we need to start producing you. So we're gonna produce... About 120. And I want to max you out. So let's say 120, we're gonna get extra model quality. And how much are we going to sell them for? So if we sold them for 2,167, we could not get anything. So if I sold them for... For 1,500, we could get 243. Okay. So 1,800 is too far. Okay, so 750. Let's go with. Let's check the Japan. Japan sector. Material cost. Total. Okay. So 
transport 83 83 so say 1500 is the cost so let's go with 1750 everywhere and we're gonna see how this is gonna go uh, but we got a lot of spare cash so I think I might go ahead and immediately modify this okay so that'd be 555 I guess we don't really have a choice We want to modify this and it might be a good idea to immediately look into the possibilities to expand on this. So we, we did the subcompact. The compact wants a bit more performance, a bit less dependability, but a bit more fuel. No, okay, less Okay, just a bit more performance. So we could actually go with a compact. And I was thinking that it was on the micro car. Which would be pretty much the same. I don't think there's much demand for micro cars around here though. Subcompact is a very favorite compact. It's 2.3. Oh god. Oh hell, where the hell is the micro car? Okay, 1.5. That's actually not that bad. We could have three lines, uh, compact, subcompacts, and micro cars, and sell them across China. They would be extremely similar. I could use the same things for all of them. So let's do one month here and see how well we sell. Okay, so we produced 120, sold 47, which puts us at 1.8 million in, in loss. Okay, so the materials cost construction. Wait, what construction? Oh, we yeah, have, we opened the offices. Okay, okay, okay. So we have 1.2, 1.3. So that's not that bad. We're about 500,000 in a loss. So I think that's actually pretty good. Revenue operation. City sales. So we sold. Across the board, uh, the least amount was in Yokohama, but in Tokyo we sold 24 profits. Uh, yeah, we're, we're losing across the board, unfortunately. Okay, well, we need to put up some marketing. Let's go with Japan. Start our marketing budget, I'd say. A thousand which is very low but it's gonna help a bit and I think I might want to lower the price of the car a bit so I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep the production but produce them and sell them by 1600 Okay, another turn and we're gonna see how we're doing now. Okay, minus half a million. That's not bad. That is not bad. Because honestly, we're producing way too many. So if I kill the production now and just stop producing them or produce, say, 30, and we're gonna sell those 30 and the ones from reserves. Uh, we're going to be okay. What's our biggest expense? We earned 88,000 and expenses are 586,000. 500 cost, yeah, 500 cost, 500 labor. So this will cut branch costs. Damn. Yeah, we're paying way too much for branches. Let's check them one by one and see if we can 
find some it is too much so branch 396 396 okay so the costs are okay yeah we got all of the big cities so there is no extra place where we could go mm. Yeah, we just need more cars. So what I need to do here is I need to immediately start uh, getting extra cars. So uh, first of all, let's modify the car we have. Let's make a new trim of the subcompact. It's going to be the 19, 1949 trim. And this one has immediately higher ratings. So that's good. It's going to still be the same generation. We're not going to do any facelift or anything. Uh, the cost of the car goes up a bit, but I think I can tone it down if we take down some of the focus of... Okay, so still the same rating, we're saving about 10 bucks per car. Uh, if we kill the reliability testing. Actually, we don't have to, that's not that important. I can go down a bit on the fuel testing. Okay, so this is gonna be, it's gonna take five months for, okay, that's, that's a bit of a problem, but it's gonna be a 14 uh, trim, yeah, foot 1949. The one we have now is, uh, yeah, okay. So it's gonna be uh, next year's trim. And we need to design another car to sell. So which one? That's the question. The compact we could do and I think there's more competition in the compacts, though. Branch, let's see the competition. Compact car. Yeah. The rating, though, is really bad, so I think we can easily beat them. And they're selling quite a lot of compacts. Type rating with what? Why is our rating so bad? I think they might have something with marketing. Uh, okay, so let's so let's design a. Wait, that that one we have is a subcompact. Yes. <laughs> okay. So so a compact car using the same components, and see what we can do here. So. Oh wow, we have a lot of options here. I'd like to use you for the humpback. I think I'm gonna use the humpback and try to design him the same way our current car is done. So that means, uh, uh, let me, okay, I can't, can find it here. That's a different, uh, different car. So hold on, hold on, we can do it. Ah. What if I we go to do, do, do. You trim, design it. Okay, this is what I want. So I took the screenshot and now I'm gonna design a new compact car. And then it's gonna have the same same components. Uh, gotcha, we wanna customize. And which one is the most? I'm looking at it right now from like this angle. So the humpback would be very similar. And what was that one? Reserve. Nope. We're going to use the humpback. So I'm going to design this car and I'll be right back.
Okay, I think I'm done. It's a very good car. It really resembles the one that we designed. So it's going to be just like a stretched car. We have the subcompact, which is a smaller compact. And then we have the compact, which is slightly bigger. So yeah, I think I really caught the style of these cars next to each other. Uh, and I just realized I'm missing the uh, windshield wipers. Damn. Okay. Mirror, please. <laughs> make you smaller and I'll need to put you like this but I think that you kind of go inside the glass which is not what I'm trying to go for here okay this is better but here we can see that they're still too long so let's just make them smaller and like this okay cool so this is going to be our second car, which I kind of like it, and we are going to call this uh, 1949 Aibo. Yep. So, uh, oh, the rating is really not good. The rating is way worse than what we had before, and it's going to cost us quite a lot, but we are still doing fine. We are still doing fine. So luxury here is more important. Let's uh, see if we can design this to better suit us. So if I make this okay, targeted at people of younger age and males, well, females, it would bump up the importance of safety and dependability where we can work. Okay, I think this is better. So this is going to be a car, oh no, let's aim it at neutral, uh, but younger people, okay. So uh, first of all, design focus, uh, we need safety and we need dependability. Okay, that's already increasing our ratings and we need to test it for fuel economy. Okay, if I max it out, we get one extra and reliability. Okay, so the car is at 1400 bucks already. That's not great, but we have moved the rating up to somewhere like 51 at this point. So that's good. Now come to the part where we can kill what we don't need. So performance is okay. Oh, cargo is important, really? Okay, but luxury is not. And the style is not. And testing. can bump up the performance a bit and lower the comfortability to nil. Utility, oh, utility needs to be up. Okay, our specific is now somewhere around 53. So that's good because we can now kill some of these, which will make the car cheaper. And we're back to 1400. That's good. And we can also kill the interior. Actually, the safety, I think we might want to go up on that, but lower the rest. So yeah, it would cost now 1469 If we went one step lower, we are doing, we're at 1353 1349 Okay, we've got a problem, 1436 Thirty-four. So if I killed everything like this, yeah, 1,300. And we're still doing pretty good. 1,300 for a specific of like 52, I think is really decent. So luxury is okay. Safety, safety could be higher. 
but I don't think increasing it further would make a bit of a big difference. I can even save a bit more money on this. Uh, dependability is good, quality is good, fuel is good, performance is decent, power is awful, but we knew that. Handling is great. Handling could actually be much lower. Also, I wanted to see if I increase the market demographic. No, if I lower it... Oh, damn! If I can lower it, like here, let's... I saw 1250 and now I want it. Ah, 1250. Okay, so we can get this car for 1250. So about 250 bucks more uh, than Mamoto cost. But Aibo will be a bigger, uh, more useful car. So now comes the painful part, the project. 18 months. If I make it come in March, March 1950, it's going to cost 2,354,000. So I guess that's better than what we have now. How much lower can I get it? June would be 1.5 million. So I guess we might go June. We might go June and get it with a third trim. Maybe. Maybe, but damn, two years in development. Well, we don't have much of a choice though. I want to make another car, uh, the, the, uh, the micro car. And, that will require us to save a lot of money. So yeah, 24 months seems like a good idea. Okay, so let's build this one. We're going to call this Aibo. Wait, then I need to see the nomenclature that I'm using for the naming. Aibo first generation. And that's a 1950 trim. Okay, cool. So that's Aibo that we have in development now. And in the next episode, we're going to design the third car, the micro car, which I'm going to call Koinu. And these three will be sold across the Japanese coast. And we're going to hope to God that we can survive. I think we should. If we kill the production, things should be fine. But we'll need the third car to fully test that. So... I'll see you in the next episode where we are going to design our third car, the Koinu, and then we're just going to try to manage the company in a way that would make it uh, survive until we can sell these three cars for a decent profit. And you know, if we sell three cars in all of our branches, I think we will turn some decent profit that will allow us to invest into research, more marketing, and maybe even spread out a bit. So I'll see you in the next episode. Join me there.